Good morning, Wildcats. Today is Thursday, January 24th. I'm Rosalyn Rodriguez, and welcome to WCTZ News. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Any students planning to take AP exams for courses they are not enrolled in here at West Shore, including any FLVS AP courses, must let Mr. Drake know by the end of January. If you are an FLVS AP student, please bring your order form to Mr. Drake and see him if you have any questions. For the past 18 years, the Space Coast Skater Club has been offering scholarships to the graduating high school seniors going on to attend the University of Florida. All students who attend a Brevard County school are eligible to apply. You can download the current scholarship application at the SCGC website for the fall semester of 2019 at www.spacecoastgatorclub.com. Please note the deadline for the receipt of scholarship applications is March 15, 2019. Boys and Girls Lacrosse Tryouts will be held on January 28th at 3.45 p.m. on the practice field. There will be a mandatory model student senate meeting in Ms. O.T.'s room on January 29th during Power A. If you cannot attend, please see Ms. O.T. on Monday, January 28th or Wednesday, January 30th or you will not be allowed to participate in the competition later next week. Now to Colin Yarbrough with a story on efforts to decrease gun violence. As a response to the growing number of mass shootings within schools, administration has put up gun-free zone signs around campus. Naturally, schools, like places that serve alcohol and other public areas, uh, are subject to not being allowed to have firearms on campus. So that's just a reminder to our general, general populace that if they are a uh, gun carrying member, meaning they have their uh, concealed weapons permit, they cannot carry it unless they are law enforcement personnel on a school ground. I think it's a good way to let students know that we're taking measures to uh, counteract the violence that's happening across the country. I don't think it does anything in particular in terms of security, but it's, it's just nice to know that uh, the campus is taking protocols to increase safety around the school. They kind of remind me personally of what's happening in the country because I just came from Cuba where there's no guns so it kind of just reminds me of what is actually happening and what I have to worry about because I can kind of put it off sometimes. I think that they're important but I also don't think that they're going to stop anybody from having a gun on campus if they really want a gun on campus. I think the concept of not allowing guns in school is good but I don't think the signs are necessary. I think it's kind of redundant. I'm pretty sure every student knows not to bring weapons to school. Hopefully the addition of these signs on campus will make our school a safer place. This has been Colin Yarbrough reporting for WCTZ News. Thank you for tuning in to another edition of WCTZ News. This has been Rosalyn Rodriguez. Have a wonderful day, Wildcats.